we're going to talk about how to build an empowering routine. So the first thing that you want to take into consideration as you're building out your routine is what your overall goals are with, um, with optimizing your routine and what you want that outcome to be. Whether it's energy, um, focus, uh, more health care for fitness or weight regulation, start to think about what are some different elements that you want in your routine that's going to help you get to that goal a lot easier. Um, so what I always encourage people to do is write out your routine. Start from the night before so that way you can set yourself up well for the next morning. So some things to keep taking into consideration as elements to incorporate into your routine is um, first off, what time are you going to sleep and waking up? Making sure that you're getting enough sleep during the, the night. Um, other things you can do is incorporate journaling, whether it's for gratitude or intention with your day. Breathing techniques or exercises are a great way to really um, awaken the body and stimulate um, circulation to help you have more energy in the morning and be less reliant on caffeine or other stimulants. Um, next thing is exercise, which is another form of a breathing technique. So if you're running or cycling, you're gonna have that forced breathing technique involved in there, but it's also a great way to make sure that you're staying on top of your fitness goals without um, finding potential excuses later on in the day. Um, the next one can be meditation. So if you find that you want more grounding, calmness, um, less anxiety, or maybe you just want to really hone in your mindset and focus for the day, then meditation is a great way to start to build that out. Um, even five to 20 minutes a day can be very beneficial um, in, in your daily routine. Another one is to get outside early. So we know that our body produces melatonin as the lights dim in the evening or the sun goes down. And the same is um, waking up early and getting outside and having that light exposure to help you um, start to produce different hormones to help awaken the body as well. Another thing that I like to encourage people to do is incorporate ch a challenge every day. So whether that's doing something uncomfortable, um, like public speaking or taking a cold shower, or maybe going for a run when you really don't want to. Do something that really kind of puts you out of your comfort zone and start to become comfortable with being a little bit more uncomfortable. Last but not least is something that people tend to overlook a lot when they're stressed or they have a lot on their plate is making sure that you're putting aside time to be social and um, share experiences with your loved ones or friends. This way you're really taking care of yourself in a lot of different um, in a lot of different ways. So uh, stress can be increased quite quickly when we're not having good communication and good connection with others. If we're looking at um, the areas of the world where the people live the longest, movement, good, good nutrition, and social connection are, are one of the three pillars that really help to add to longevity in your life. Um, last but not least, I would definitely say the key to success in what we've what we see in many different successful people is consistency. So whether you're an athlete in training or you're a business person working towards your career, the consistency of your routine is really going to optimize your results and maximize your success overall. So staying consistent, doing something every day, um, having that written out goal, that written out um, routine somewhere where you can see it and remind you is going to be a great way to help you stay on track um, and then also surrounding yourself with people who really inspire you who are moving towards similar goals is a great way to also help you stay motivated um, but if you fall off track a few days or every once in a while that's okay that's pretty normal but as long as you're going back to that routine back to that grounding back to that um that process that you know is really going to help you get back on track, that is what's going to make you more successful overall. So I hope you all have a good time starting to look at your routine and, and really work through it. If you have any questions, talk to your dietitian. We're happy to keep you accountable there um, and give you different feedback or ideas on how you can um, use different tool sets in your routine to help you get closer to your goal faster.